Hello, JR. My name is Brooke Banninger. And my name is Dylan Maiden, and welcome back to The Poor Report. This week, for the last episode of the school year, we'll be airing our senior show. First, we say goodbye to Brooke Banninger with Painting Without a Twist. Hi, guys, and welcome back to The Joy of Creation, where today we're going to be painting portraits. Nuh uh. This is actually Faz's food frenzy. But, this is my segment okay, now. No, that's not what we agreed on, though. No, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Hi, guys, and welcome back to our new segment, Painting Without a Twist, with Brooke and Faz. Actually, uh, it's Faz and Brooke. Stupid. So let's get started. Because I'm actually uh, taking over this segment, and this is uh, now Painting Without a Twist, what is the twist, you might ask? Well, we have a various many a drink from the school cafeteria. We're going to be taste testing them while we're painting each other. Just as we're getting right into it, we have a lovely, lovely box of school chocolate milk. Cheers. Cheers. Nostalgic. It is very nostalgic. I would wholeheartedly agree with that. Brooke, who's that? Who's the friend you bought here today? The friend I brought here today? Yeah. Who's that? Final drink today. We do have some school grape juice. Take a look at this. All right, so we have our glasses of the grape juice. <laughs> so with right. our paintings finished, mm -hmm. I do believe it is time we reveal them to each other. You ready? I, I am so ready. Ta-da! I put my heart and soul into this. This. No, it's just it's so beautiful. Oh, I. So I'd like to thank everyone for coming to this episode of Painting Without a Twist. We hope to all see you in five years, where we'll be back with another episode. No, we won't. Thanks, guys. Now we head over to some of our seniors to hear about their favorite OJR memories. Good morning, OJR. I'm Dylan Stahl, and this is the final stall in the hall. On this episode, I'm highlighting specifically seniors, and I'm asking them a few questions, so let's go. So I'm here with Jackson Ellis, Drew Barone, Katie Arcaro, Ava Sellers, Tristan Dietrich, Kaylin Harrington, Liv, Lily, Alexis, Ava Clemson, Rachel Spey. What was the best part of senior year? Prom. Uh, probably when I dressed up as Gibby for Halloween. That was pretty fun. Uh, mine's also one of my Halloween costumes. I dressed up as Jordan Belfort from The Wolf of Wall Street. Probably senior night for volleyball. I've liked study halls in the library. Probably, uh, <laughs> My favorite memory was going into fifth period in Miss Danson's room every single day. What was the funniest part of all of high school? Mm, I'm a big fan of Felony Friday. Uh, probably the kid last year chugging like 14 strawberry milks and then throwing up everywhere. That was pretty funny. Uh, during the pep rally, one of our friends was the Wildcat and they tripped and the Wildcat head flew off. Probably Widener, John. When I fell in the field in front of the whole pep rally. Dear Colin, quack. Jackson Ellis and Mr. Wallace playing monkey tag last year. <laughs> and uh, what are your plans for after high school? Uh, I plan to become the president of the United States, or I implement a law that school will be uh, closed for three out of the five days of the week. I plan to become Patrick Bateman. <laughs> uh, I'm going to University of Scranton to become an early childhood education teacher. I'm um, studying criminal justice at University of Delaware. I'm going to Penn State for business. I'm going to play lacrosse at Villanova. Uh, Florida International. I'm going to be playing baseball there. I'm going to Dickinson College and I'm going to study international business. I'm going to Penn State University. I'm going to Butler University. I'm going to Furman University. Personally, I think some of my favorite memories were with the Paul Report. It's been a blast and a pleasure to be on the Paul Report. And this is Dylan Stahl with Stahl in the Hall. Signing off and good luck, OJR. Next up, we say goodbye to Jacob Fazari, where he teaches you how to adult. Hello, students. With the year coming to an end, that means our seniors are getting ready to become adults in the world. The time of coloring sheets and parental controls are over. Now, it's time to learn how to adult. Cleaning clothes is important to both smell good and keep up normal hygiene. Make sure you wash them often with detergent. 
Cooking can be a tough task when starting out, so learning to make simple meals can make a big difference when on a budget. Ramen and some eggs can do the trick. Excuse me, are you guys hiring? <laughs> what makes you think that you are special to work here? Let us ask question to you. Have you ever checked your face in the mirror? Go away, loser. Are you guys hiring? Education is important. If you're going to college, make sure you keep that GPA high. <laughs> and when all else fails, call your dad. Hey, dad. Um, so the check engine light came on and I did check the engine and it's still here. So I don't know what that means. And I would appreciate it. Help me, please. Now, we say farewell to Luca Gizzoni as he shares his second annual summer bucket list. Take it away, Luca. Good morning, Wildcats. As you know, today is the final episode of the PAR Report for the 2022-2023 school year. That means summer's right around the corner. Ah, oh, the fresh summer breeze. Much better than the smell of musty socks most of you freshmen have been marinating in. I mean, literally at this point, the only tan you guys are going to get is from the glow of your iPad mini watching Family Guy clips. I mean, oh, so out of the kindness of my own heart, I decided to make a new and improved summer bucket list so you guys can exercise something other than your finger swiping through TikTok. Here are a few things you can do to spice up your summer. Explore a new hiking trail. Go paddle boarding in the lake. Camp out in the wilderness. Throw a barbecue with your friends and family. Go fish for some mackerel. Play beach volleyball. Become a horse girl. Borrow some clothes from your favorite store. Work on a farm. Admire the sunset from afar. Try out rock climbing, shred some tubular gnar. Play some saplings and save global warming. Attend an outdoors music festival. Goat yoga, go outside. And last but not least, have fun. All right, who am I here with? Ned. All right, now what are you planning to do this summer, bro? I'm planning to go to the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah. Willie Kemda, um, I'm going to Hawaii. Liv Egan. I'm looking forward to having fun at the beach and playing my last season of softball. Oh, very athletic, I see. Good job. Uh, Taylor Bateman. Uh, planning to go up to Knobles at some point. Knobles. Th this guy knows what he's talking about. Sire Weatherby. Probably go to Canada. Go to Canada. All right, man, what do you think about that? What? What do you think about that? I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> Lucas Kramer? I don't know. I have a lot of things I can do. Probably going to New York. I want to go to Brooklyn. Um, going to college in New York next year, but that's in Manhattan. Oh, wow. Yeah. Travel. That's that's what we're learning today. Travel, kids. Yeah. Travel's the best thing you can do with your summer. Also, summer job. <laughs> Thank you all for contributing to my summer bucket list. My name is Luca Gisoni, reporting for the Power Boy. A good summer over there. Or should I say, hi. Thanks, Luca. And for our final senior goodbye, we go to a very oxymoronic last maiden voyage. I'm Dylan Maiden reporting for the Power Report. Today is my final segment. So that means it's the final maiden voyage. And before I go, I want to get everyone's favorite part. So let's get right into it. What was your favorite part about maiden voyage this year? I liked watching you be a big deal. I really liked the uh, Grinch stealing my math class. It was uh, extremely fun, especially pegging um, Dylan with dodgeballs. My favorite part about me and Voyage was seeing Dylan with all those different hairstyles. I especially like the pigtails, kind of hold them like a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I like the host. Uh, the Moana segment was really good. I love it. Oh, I love that one too. That's elite. Uh, my favorite Maiden Voyage was Maiden Voyage 1, the original episode, because I don't know why. And I still think you look like Jimmy Superfly Snooker. To this day? To this day. Thank you. Uh, everything, everything. Thank you. Uh, the last part. Yeah? So, I got a question for you. 
Would you take up the reins next year for Minion Voyage? Hell no, nah, bro. Nah. You see the line about Oh, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I just, I just feel like I haven't done anything memorable. It's just... I don't know. Dude, you made five segments. Now six? I've only made one segment this whole year. It was me being taped to a chair and I got canceled for it. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, you're right. You've made such a big splash on the big OJ splash. 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 For this year, OGR, have a good school year and a good summer. Bye! Well, OGR, that's everything for the 2022 to 2023 PowerPort season. We thank you all so much for allowing us to bless your Tuesdays this year. This is Brooke Battinger. And I'm Dylan Maiden. On behalf of all the seniors here at the Power Report, take it away, Connor. Have a good day, OJR.